So let's talk about the fan service anime of the season. That is the Caps Terrace and its goddesses. Now, this anime is fascinating because the story and the premise you really do not need fan service for. But at the same time, like fan service does, I guess, en enhance the story. And plus, we actually have almost all adult characters besides one, which makes no sense why they included the other one. But I digress. So we did finally get a fan service anime that actually has adults in it. Because, you know, usually they always want to do high school, but we actually have adults because all the characters but one girl are all adults because we have like two 20 year olds two 19 year olds and the main guy he's like 18 and then you have this 16 year old that they included for no damn reason that they didn't need to include at all but i digress though let's talk about this anime though now the first thing i gotta say about it is i love the opening it has that nice little rent a girlfriend type of opening where you have the girls dancing the song is kind of meh but the visuals in the opening is nice and then and also in the ending the visuals look nice too so i will say that the opening ending have really nice visuals especially with the dancing and then when you go Go to the ending and it shows all the different girls like what their different things what they do and all that so i do like that but so let's get into the story because essentially it's kind of funny so the main character him and his grandma had some big fights so he eventually moves away and goes to like tokyo to go to school or whatever i think it's like one year he went to school or whatever and then when he comes back he finds out that his grandma passed away but when he comes back into the house he finds out that there's a lot of women all over the house and i mean thick ass women and when he first walks in he's gonna see a lot of different women in certain predicaments and we're to say that because since they are all women and live in the houses know they're walking around a certain type of way and he's gonna run into them that way so essentially his his grandma, before she passed away, she found some stray dogs or some stray bitches or some bitches, I should say, for her grandson and then she passed away. Like, that's really essentially the story. I know I should not be saying that, but I'm sorry. I kind of got to because that is essentially the story if you think about it because all the girls here in this story, they all have some type of problem why they ended up at this calf with his grandma. And I'm just saying the grandma did kind of train all of them to prepare them so that when he shows up to the calf because some of the flashbacks they have is usually stuff about him that the grandma was talking about. So it just seems like the grandma was preparing her grandson to get a harem which is kind of wild to think about because it's just some of the stuff like when it comes to the Oka girl who's the Sundere that's in this story she literally can make one meal and it's the only meal that that his grandma knew that he liked and somehow she that's the only meal that she can make and her stuff like that and then like all the characters remember stuff about the grandma talking about her grandson and all those other things and all these different girls are slowly but surely falling in love with him so it really is just the premise that the grandma before she died she made sure that her grandson would have some bitches at the calf and he would be straight and he would have hoes that's essentially what is going on in this story and it's kind of funny just if you just think about it that way but let's move on to the, like the actual story and get into it so Hayato the main guy he comes back to this calf after his grandma passed away and when he gets there he's thinking about selling the calf because the calf has always been a burden on his grandma and he really doesn't want to keep it and that's when he meets these girls here and after spending some time with each of the girls and learning like his grandma really cared about these girls and all that he's decides like yo you know what i'll save this calf so all the girls they work together and as we go through each episode we're learning more about each girl and some of their different personalities the first girl that i actually like her name's akane she's like the more cool person that has like the short hair and she's also in the band i kind of like her we have oka she's the redhead who is a sundere and you just know she's she's always going to be arguing and getting upset with the guy but she does actually make clothes too so it's not that bad so she's kind of decent and then you have ami who is the big ass kid she's the one high schooler they had to have and trust me this anime lets you know that she's a high schooler because every second in this anime you can tell because she's childish like she's super 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 childish and the anime shows it off so much and then another one we have is kiku and she's like the short um green head girl that's like thick as fuck and she's like thick as fuck she's the one when she gets drunk just know she likes man sweat we'll say that she gets very in the mood and she goes after the main guy multiple times just know if she she can get a little drunk all she needs is like a little bit of just like alcohol smell and bro she's drunk and she's on it trying to get her some man meat we'll just say that <laughs> And then the last one I'm forgetting about is Riho and she's like the one girl with the pigtails that has like the yellow hair and she's like basically like a super hard worker and all that and she's the one that tries to set up the plan when she tries to like get the main guy kicked out or whatever. But yeah, those are about all the characters and they're all interesting in their own way and they all have like their own roles because like each episode that we've gotten so far we see that the main guy he interacts with them and learns more stuff about them or we get a little bit flashes of each girl's backstory. We know the greenhead girl and him have some type of 
like connection because like they probably met when they are younger because she's the only one that seems like she actually knows him when they are young because she's like oh he has not changed since we were younger but we haven't got no flashback or anything yet to know exactly like how she knows him it was probably like some elementary thing or something or he saved her you know the usual that's usually panned out in these stories so we'll see exactly how they have a connection but just know she is the one that's always on one she gets drunk but i mean all these girls are kind of on one because there's fan service all the time throughout this anime there's a lot like there's times when they're envisioning what the characters look like the girls either walking on him and he's in the bathroom or we see the girls sleeping somewhere or they just happen to be in a predicament and they're showing something because it always happens in here but i actually do like the story because it's fascinating that like the grandma was actually this super nice person that took in all these girls that each have their own problems because trust me they all have some type of reason why they're living here because either they don't have nowhere else to go or they have some problems that are probably with their families and that's why they're living here but we're slowly but surely getting a little bit of backstory there and it's kind of nice seeing that like the grandma cared about them but the grandma actually did care about a grandson even though her and her grandson had like a little beef before he left because he left like on bad terms so he really didn't get to see his grandma pass away and be on good terms because he left so i mean he, there's still like some probably like regret inside of him and that's kind of why he wants to keep this calf open and he's seeing some of the things about like his grandma when he had to live with her like how she always enjoyed this calf and he's doing some of them things too and learning slowly that like yo i actually do love this calf and i do remember some of these things that me and my grandma did type of thing that him and his grandma I should say did and i mean that's just kind of nice that he, yes he is just kind of learning because i mean that is kind of like a i guess you're say a part of morning and you could say that because yes he did lose his grandmother and he really did not get to say what he really needed to say to her because like you know he left on bad terms but I mean he did go to Tokyo to try and get him a whole bunch of money because he always wanted to get his grandma like out of this business because he knew that she was always struggling and she always had to bow her head to certain people as we're seeing in like one of the episodes when it comes to the old guy that was always like messing and nagging the grandma for money and other type of things so I don't know I just like the aspect of it but just know there is a lot of thick ass women and I mean thick ass women because they all thick besides the ami girl who's the blue head girl that's the super childish one i still don't get why did why did the creator do this you had all these adults in this anime this would have been the perfect fan service anime because it's actually all adults for once but for some damn reason they had to include a high schooler and I, i'm like why and like the, and she's like super childish i'm like dog can you get her the fuck out of here that's what i'm thinking at times because i'm like dog why we got all these thick ass girls here and then you just had to include this high school that has the same body frame or even thicker than all the other ones and it's just like why that i mean this is just that stupid shit this is why I, sometimes i hate anime and manga and all that because you know they always gotta do stupid shit instead of just like dog if you're gonna go a whole adult like route keep it all adults you didn't have to include one high schooler like why like why exactly did the person the crit the manga or the creator of this think they needed this you know high schooler when you had all these other women that are already in the show that make it fine and i was like it would have been like you know a really good fan service anime but it just didn't have that little part but i mean so far it's still really good but i mean we do get our a typical fan service yes it's not no like super uncensored stuff because it's not that type of one we just get our fan service moments in there but yeah it's not that bad of anime if you've been watching this let me know how you feel about it. if you've not seen it why not check it out you can watch it on crunchyroll or you can hop on your pie show you can watch it that way too though but so essentially his grandmother found him some stray bitches on the street and she brought him into the house and saved it for her grandson that's essentially what this is if you actually think about it because the way it just put it out it just seems like she found some stray dogs because that's what the girls are they're basically like strays because they all have no place to go and he just brought up and she brought him into the house basically for her grandson because each of these girls are all liking him and it's shown throughout the anime because there's literally a joke in the most recent episode that came out today when they were talking about like oh would you get married to him and they all like would get married to him because they all like him at this point and it's like yeah that's what it is because like especially because he's allowing them to stay there he opened the calf and like they're all learning stuff about his personality but i don't know it's okay anime but it's just kind of funny that it's just like that's kind of what the premise is because if you look at it that is kind of what the grandma did because if you see some of the past stuff that he had with the girls the grandma was always talking about her grandson and like the girls they know so much about him from like the grandma that like whenever they see his real personality that the grandma would talk about they start to like kind of like him a lot and some of the situations he gets into with each of the girls they're slowly but surely falling in love with him and he's just here you know probably he's not even worried about them because the one greenhead girl has been has came on to him multiple times and that man has not done anything because he's not worried about it. that man's way more worried about money and other stuff like that though but yeah if you enjoyed the video and i like if you didn't you could dislike subscribe if you really enjoyed but yeah i've been enjoying this anime 
so far it's been interesting and i do like the story so far it's not like over the top fan service but it is kind of nice that it's actually adults for once because you know most of the time it's always high school high school high school underage high school type of shit instead of like actually adults when it's like most fan service anime should be with adults in it just saying it makes it better because like we're all adults watching this majority of us anyway yes you got the people that are younger that are not but most people that watch seasonal anime a lot a lot of it you're more than likely adults at times and you want to see adult fan service i'm sorry like we want to see adult fan service like can we go back to the 90s when almost every fan service anime was a 80s and 90s had like fan service anime and they all just had adults in it It was always some thick ass milfs or something or some thick ass women instead of the shit we got now but i mean i'm happy this one has like almost all the girls are adults besides just the blue head girl that's super childish so like you don't even worry about her because she's like super duper duper childish though but yeah thank you for watching i'll see you next video bye, -bye.